Hey, I'd like to thank everybody who clicked onto this link. And this is John O'Shaughnessy of Praiseworthy Ministry. It is Tuesday morning, April the 12th. I'm finishing up a week here in Michigan, driving back to Kansas City, and just want to let you know that Carol and I are doing fine. Uh, our son Brendan is getting married at the end of May. We're really excited about that. Um, Leanne and Ben are doing well, John and Aaron. But I want to focus on the compassion mandate. That's the purpose of this little video clip here. And I just want to let you know that after being in Michigan for a week, and many of you know that we've been coming up here for 17 years, uh, we've started the compassion mandate this year. And the compassion mandate is helping the poor and less fortunate in the states that we go to. And we've earmarked Michigan, Illinois, and Missouri for 2011. And I'm sure next year we'll be adding other cities as we go to new states. As most of you know, Indiana just opened up, opened up to us and we're starting to do ministry there. But I just wanted to present some needs to you, some simple needs that I run into all the time up in Michigan. Um, met this person Monday. Our ministry know, knows this person. Uh, this person's trying to go through college and uh, their food stamps were taken away from them. And this is going to be a real hit to this person's budget, as you can imagine. And I ran into another man on my last trip and I just said, hey, how can Praise Reading Ministry help you? What can I do for you? And he said, well, I really need a toaster oven um, to cook pizzas in for me for dinner. I said, great, can, you know, can Praiseworthy Ministry and the Compassion Mandate help you with that? And he said, yes. And I ran into another man and said the same thing. How can Praiseworthy Ministry and the Compassion Mandate help you? And he said, well, my wife and I really need a, a new microwave oven. So friends, the, the, you know, the people that I bump into, their needs are not extravagant. You know, people need uh, tune-ups on their cars or, you know, a set of tires or, you know, some money to buy diapers for their children. I mean, uh, this is not representative, certainly, of everybody that we know in Michigan, but the needs are great. Lots of needs up here, and I don't feel a sense of responsibility that all these needs fall on my shoulders, but I want to help. We've been coming up here a long time, and um, I'm calling out my friends in Illinois and Michigan and Indiana. I need your help, and I need your help in a big way. And those on Facebook, if you've been following us, we've been in on staff at the International House of Prayer. We've been doing ministry for 17 plus years. You know, we're not the new kids on the block. Uh, we do prophetic mentoring classes, prophetic seminars and retreats. Uh, but we help the poor and the less fortunate. And um, maybe I'm a little biased. I think that we're a good ministry to support. You know, you get a lot of bang for your dollar. And if there's some of you out there that uh, know us a little bit or a lot of it or have walk, been walking with us for 20 years, um, help me, help me help other people. Help me walk out this compassion mandate. And if you've been wondering, hey, I'd like to give $10,000 to a ministry, consider our ministry. You put the compassion mandate in the memo portion of the envelope or, uh, of your check, we'll give it all away. If you give us $25,000, we'll give it all away. So just pray about it. I encourage you to pray about supporting our ministry and I do so uh, boldly and unashamedly. We serve a great God, there's lots of needs and um, Carol and I have always wanted to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. And Lord, I just thank you for the state of Michigan and Illinois and Missouri. I thank you for the friends that have supported us along our journey and you know the people that have allowed us to bring 77 bags of clothes up to Michigan and Missouri. And I just thank you for the warehouse that we're allowed to use in Holland, Michigan to store the clothes so I can bring them up to the thrift store in Muskegon. Lord, I just thank you for those that have been wondering where they should support, where should they give their money to. And Lord, I ask them to stir their hearts again with unashamedly for praiseworthy ministry and what you've laid on the hearts of Carol and Ida to help the poor and the less fortunate. Lord, I thank you for the clothes that we've collected and I just ask, again, my heart is stirred with compassion this weekend driving back to Kansas City, Lord, that you would um, help us touch more people. And again, thank you for those that have been supporting us and following our ministry and 
reading our updates. We love you guys, and we couldn't do it without you. And we want to do greater things in Indiana that we've done in Michigan and Illinois. So, Lord, I pray that more states in Indiana would open up, and Ohio and the Great Lakes area. And if you're looking for a mentor, want to host a prophetic retreat or a prophetic seminar in your church or city, uh, get a hold of us on Facebook or at our website, praiseworthyministry.com. We love you guys, and um, again, our tanks are filled up, and we want to touch more people this year, and with your help, um, and God's grace, we can. God bless you. Bye-bye.